we will discuss in the halachot of Kiryat Shema. At the same time, we will discuss also the halacha of Halet and Tefillin. As we, as we all know, everything has a time. If the person does something at the wrong time, the guy kept Shabbat on Sunday, he wasted the time. There's no, no such thing. You can't keep Shabbat on Sunday. Shabbat is on Shabbat. Sunday is Sunday, right? Uh, no, no such, uh, such a thing. So if a guy read Kiryat Shema at the wrong time, it's like he did it at the, he kept Shabbat on Sunday. He didn't do anything. That's a waste of time. So a person has to be careful with the times. Times are very, very important. Integral to our to halakha and to the Kiyum HaMitzvah. So what's the earliest time that a person can say Kiryat Shema or put on Talit and Tefili? So the halakha says, Mashiachim, when a person can tell the bin the chelat the 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 kati between blue and green, or to be able to tell to see your friend, the rihuk dalin amot, that you can see your friend and recognize him, four amot, that's the eight feet away from you, without any light, just the light of uh, the moon, whatever is outside. So what time is that? So this machlokot between different poskim, exactly the timing. Well, my dad brings the most lenient opinion is really Sha'a. Sha'a's marid kodem netzah Approximately about an hour, really not an hour, in the winter time, it's less than an hour. Before nets, nets today was uh, 7.19, 7.20. So an hour before that, and Sha'a's marid. An hour and Sha'a's marid could be something like 46 to 50 minutes. So, person wants to know what's the right time. There are other opinions. There are, there's an opinion that holds, uh, could go back as early as uh, he calculated about approximately that this morning, it'd be 624, 623, somewhere there. Or you have second opinion, 635. So, those are the times for Talet and Tefillin or Kiryat Shema. I got put on Talet at, uh, I figure, 620, 615. Why well, that time? You didn't do anything. It's, too, it's not the right time. You put it at the wrong time. So you were Mikayim. Not only you were Mikayim, it could be you said Biracha al It could be you did a Avon. Because you said a Biracha at the wrong time. It's not a Sheikh in Deshaun. You didn't command us. You didn't command us to put it on at that time. So therefore, a person has to be precise. Not a lot of time for rushing because we have work and we have a lot of things to take care of. Really, Ma'ikara Din, the right time for Kiryat Shema is right before Netzach Hama. And of course, Tefillah, I mean, that's supposed to be said at Netzach Hama. Unfortunately, many of us cannot say till 7.20 to start Amidah, 7.21, because we're rushing, we have to go out. So we have to do Bidi'ava, but no, that this is Bidi'ava, it's not the best. You know, some people think the earlier the better. So if I can pray at 6.15, better to pray 6.15, no, no, no. Better to pray later if a person is able person doesn't have work, doesn't have anything, and you can pray a little bit later, on a day like today, in the winter time, when <coughs> Netzah Hama is late, it's better to pray later and have a regular minyan. Obviously, a person wants to have minyan kabua that he's part of, in order that he shouldn't uh, end up lagging and not coming to tefillah. But a person should know that Aikai Halakha is the right time to pray, is that Netzah Hama or after Netzah Hama, not before Fortunately, if a person has to run out to work and he has to pray earlier, but the Abad, the time that the person can pray as early as he can is the time of, again, Mishayakim, which is, again, as we said, is either 624 and 635. A person should be extra careful, especially for shuls that start a few minutes earlier. Start six, sometimes at 620, a guy walks into shul a few minutes early, says, Yalla, put on my toilet, don't rush, relax, it's not yet the time. The time, you have to be careful. Each day might be a little, goes a little bit later. So be careful with the timing in order that a person is with Kayem, the mitzvah of Talel and Tefillin, and at the same time also the mitzvah of Kiryat Shema. Yom Tov, Mubarak. Ah, today, anyone? Uh, people are around?